Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the virtual college exploration for all North and South Carolina students. Sponsored by the Carolina Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and StrideScan. Thank you guys for joining us today. We're super excited to have you. A few housekeeping um, items that I wanna go over before we get started. So you guys can use the Q&A button on your screen to type questions um, to our presenters at any time throughout the presentation. Um, your camera and microphone are off, so you're not able to um, ask questions that way and then we're not able to see you either. Um, this is just also one of many sessions that are being put on um, throughout these couple of weeks. So be sure to go online to see what other sessions are coming up. Um, you can see the full schedule at cacro.org. So that's C-A-C-R-A-O.org. Um, this presentation is also being recorded and will be available within a week at the same website if you guys want to view it later or show it to your friends again cacro.org um, and now i would like to turn it over to our presenters um, thanks y'all uh, well real quick just to introduce ourselves first my name is blake brand and i'll be presenting for the university of alabama in huntsville i'm susie swartz i'll be presenting for western carolina university Hi guys, my name is Abby Evans and I am going to be representing Kennesaw State University in Georgia. Hello everyone, my name is Amarish Hawkins and I represent Fayetteville State University. All right, so I'm gonna get started uh, by telling you guys about the University of Alabama in Huntsville. And if it is a good fit for you as a STEM, potential STEM major. <clears throat> All right, so we are an academic focused institution at University of Alabama Huntsville. We have an average incoming ACT of 28 and a 3.9 average GPA. Although we offer the colleges of arts, humanities, business, education, engineering, nursing, and science, our primary focuses are going to be engineering and STEM programs. For a little bit of history about UAH, we were founded in the 1950s and 60s when NASA was trying to put a man on the moon. Huntsville is known as the Rocket City after all. Um, so that culture is kind of the foundation of our university. So one third of our students are in our College of Engineering alone and half of them are in our STEM program. Specifically, our most popular or areas of specialty are going to be aerospace and mechanical engineering. Those are the most popular majors in our College of Engineering, but we also have specialties such as cybersecurity, which has an engineering or business focus. This is especially in high demand in the Huntsville area at the moment. Computer science is also one of our specialties as well as earth system science and atmospheric science. We have great partnerships with the National Weather Service, NOAA, and Barron Services in Huntsville. So the student success for these majors is a high priority for UAH. To be honest, they are rigorous programs, uh, but you want to be well prepared for such a high profile career after you graduate from UAH. So in order to help promote student success while you're here in your academics, we provide academic support through our academic support center. This goes through our past courses, our academic coaching, and our tutoring services. These are essentially supplemental instruction or tutoring that help you succeed in your courses that you're enrolled in at UAH. Uh, for example, a past course is a class that is a zero credit hour, but it's one hour per week, and you take it in addition to say, your calculus A or calculus B or physics one, two, and three. Some of these classes that a lot of early students may have trouble with, we try and help you out with that by giving you these pass options or these academic coaching and tutoring available. <clears throat> we are also focused on research here at UAH. Students are able to conduct research with faculty, staff, um, but in addition to NASA, the Army, Missile Defense, Ag Missile, Missile Defense Agency, sorry about that, um, and over 200 other agencies and organizations within our area. We're classified as a high research level institution by Carnegie or an R2 level, and we have 17 research centers on campus. 11 of those centers alone are in our College of Engineering. 
So we want to make sure that our students that graduate from UAH, especially in these STEM programs, have jobs. That's one of the main reasons you're thinking about going to college. Now, we do have such a rich job market at the moment, and we're expected to add many more jobs in the Huntsville area in these fields, but we still want you to be best suited for your interviews and for career competitiveness. So we help this with experiential learning through internships and co-ops. These two types of programs are very similar. Typically an internship is one semester or two semesters and they're often unpaid, but a co-op is a work school balance where the school has a partnership with a program and you either take part-time classes and work part-time or you take off semester for, you take off school for a semester and you work full time. This allows you to gain experience and be more competitive in the labor market once you graduate from UAH. It's also important to know that co-ops do not negatively affect your financial aid at UAH. If you have to take a semester off, you will, you will not lose a semester of eligibility for financial aid purposes. You've probably heard me talking a lot about the job opportunities in the Huntsville area for our STEM majors. We are the anchor tenant to the second largest research park in the nation, Cummings Research Park. And we literally have firms right across the street from us that constantly hire our students. For example, we have Hudson Alpha Institute for Biotechnology, Lockheed Martin, Dynetics, and I could probably name 50 others just within three minutes. Um, and just down the road from us, we have Redstone Arsenal, which is a large military base that also has NASA operations, as well as the FBI and other military and defense agencies that are hiring UAH students. We actually have many companies approach our College of Engineering and approach our College of Science asking us, why are your students not applying for our jobs? And we have to tell them, all of our students have jobs. So it is a very competitive labor market up here at Huntsville and people are looking to hire UAH students. So that was a very, very brief summary of what UAH has to offer for our STEM majors. Um, and feel free to connect with me with any questions you might have about UAH or our application process or a specific program. My email is posted right on this slide and you can call or text me with that number and feel free to scan the QR code with more information about UAH. If you have any questions, feel free to send them in the chat or in the Q&A function, and I would be happy to assist during this presentation. And for now, I'll be turning it over to Susie. All right, thanks, Blake. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. and uh, share a little bit more information about Western Carolina, who we are, what we offer in terms of STEM programs, and uh, any next steps if you are interested in learning more. So we are Western Carolina University. We are located in the beautiful Cullowee Valley in North Carolina. So um, we are right where the Blue Ridge and Smoky Mountains meet. We are a rural campus. We are the westernmost University of North Carolina system school located on 100 acres, about uh, 600 acres, about an hour west of Asheville, North Carolina, and about three hours north of Atlanta. So um, we are a medium-sized institution with about 12,000 students, about a little over 10,000 undergraduates, and a little less than half of them live right on campus, but we have many more who also live in the immediate vicinity of campus within walking distance of campus and off-campus upperclassmen apartments. We have 17 to 1 student to faculty ratio and 64% of our classes have 30 or fewer students. So we try to keep classes on the smaller side and we're proud of that for an institution of our size. You can see a little bit more information about demographics and the number of majors that we offer. Um, we have 170 different clubs and organizations. So if there's something that you're interested in that um, we don't offer, you can always start up a club. We also have a lot of academic majors that have clubs. Um, so whatever fields um, you are interested in, you would likely be able to find a club or you'd be able to start a club in that particular program. 
So um, speaking of majors and minors, we have majors and minors across six different colleges, our College of Health and Human Sciences, our College of Engineering, our College of Arts and Sciences, so a lot of the typical liberal arts programs. We also have um, a College of Education, College of Business, um, and a College of Fine and Performing Arts. I'm going to focus primarily uh, today on um, arts and sciences and engineering and uh, mention, just mention as well our um, health sciences super briefly. So um, to start off just with the sciences, um, we offer uh, wonderful programs in the natural sciences. So whether you're interested in biology, chemistry, environmental science, we've got a giant natural laboratory right in our backyard, uh, uh, basically a lab um, where you can learn by doing right in a super biodiverse area of North Carolina. Um, geology also, um, lots of opportunities with that right in the mountains and natural resources conservation and management given our location is also very popular. One, um, two actually that I want to highlight are forensic science first. Um, that offers um, concentrations in biology and chemistry. So if you want to work in a crime lab, Western is a great place um, to gain that hands-on training. We get you in the labs as early as possible um, in your freshman year, train you on how to use the equipment, and um, then you're able to run with that for um, the time that you spend at Western and I'll talk a little bit more about some of those opportunities in a minute. Another one I want to highlight is science education. That's a great program if you want to become a science teacher, either at the middle or high school level. Um, also, if you're interested um, in other areas of science and the health sciences, we do offer a few programs there. A couple I want to mention are um, environmental health. That's a great program um, in terms of some public health options, or if you're interested in learning about, for example, biohazards and things like that. There are a lot of um, lab resources and great opportunities for internships um, with that program. Um, but as far as the majors, this is just, you know, sampling. These are our um, science majors. Um, so I am happy to answer any questions about particular programs throughout the presentation. Next, I want to just mention uh, the ten technology, engineering, and math programs that we offer. We have computer information systems, which is actually more on the IT side of things. So um, if you're, it's uh, housed in the College of Business, but if you're interested in, in computer information systems, that's more of an information technology type of major. Um, computer science, if, more if you're interested in coding. We also have construction management if you are uh, looking to do um, the technical side of managing um, construction projects and we also offer some ABED accredited engineering programs. And lastly, um, in terms of the different majors in the STEM field, we have math and math education. Just like with science education, you are training to become a math teacher. So that is just a super brief overview of our majors themselves. I want to go into a little bit more detail about what we do with all of that. So as far as opportunities for students, we are consistently in the top 10 pretty much since 2006 for the number of students we send to the National Conference on Undergraduate Research. So we really encourage independent studies. We encourage students to go and present at this conference and any other conferences. Um, they do independent studies. They jump on professors' research projects and students in particular in our Brinson Honors College, um, which is the oldest and largest in the UNC system, have a lot, take advantage of a lot of those opportunities. And in a lot of their honors classes, they have the chance to do an independent study in order to designate it as an honors course. So you are getting the chance to really um, get out there and get involved in whatever field of study that you are most interested in. So we strongly encourage independent research um, or research in a team. We also have internships and field experience options. Internships are required for certain majors, for example, construction management, and they're encouraged for everyone. We have a wonderful Center for Career and Professional Development that is there for you both while you're at Western and as an alum. So you are able to learn all the basics of what you need to do to go out and find an internship. You also have a fantastic faculty at your disposal between your advisors and any other professors in your department 
department who are there to give you recommendations about places that other students have interned at and um, other opportunities that they can recommend for you based on the career field you're interested in. So you have a fantastic support system here at Western for those opportunities. If you're doing an education major in the STEM field, you will gain teaching hours in either a science classroom or a math classroom, middle or high school. So you are gaining that experience before you graduate so that you are equipped with all of the tools to go out and be a successful science teacher, math teacher, um, or whatever field you are uh, going into. In addition, engineering majors are required to do a capstone project. And this is a really cool opportunity because our students work with different organizations, local companies or companies on the national level, international. And those are just a few of the partners, sponsors for 2020's projects. We had students, for example, working with a transportation organization to come up with a wireless speed detection system for rail. We had students um, working with the Nantahala Outdoor Center, which is an outdoor center here in Western North Carolina with lots of different outdoor activities like rafting, for example. And they actually um, were working on a project to improve their raft tracking system for rafts that were out um, on the river um, guiding uh, visitors. So lots of really cool hands-on opportunities and ways to make connections in different in industries, whichever field you want to go into. We also have some fantastic research facilities here on campus. We have the Rapid Center, uh, which is primarily for our engineering department. They are a research and development facility. We have faculty working on projects there and they often bring in students. On those research projects, there are um, just a lot of facilities at students' disposal. You have access to resources that you, a lot of students might not have access to until graduate school, um, for example. So getting those opportunities between presenting at conferences and getting that hands-on experience is something that we really pride ourselves on. DNA research laboratories, if you're interested in biology or going the biology track with forensic science and doing DNA analysis, we've got the facilities on campus for you to utilize. And again, I mentioned our location in the mountains with a lot of just natural resources and uh, just a natural laboratory uh, right here in the mountains and those are just a few of the different areas that we have different facilities that we have for students to take advantage of and then just to wrap up i know there's a lot of information on this slide so feel free to just take a quick screenshot here um, and you can learn a little bit more about visiting us if you go to visit.wcu.edu feel free to contact our general admissions email or me directly at sports at wcu.edu. We are offering, offering both virtual visits and in-person visits. So um, those are by appointment only. And then you can also, um, if you're interested in applying, please feel free to contact me with any questions about that and I will be happy to help. So with that, I'm going to wrap up and turn it over to Abby. All right, sorry about that. Whoa, still learning everything. All right, so hopefully you guys can share my screen here. So this is gonna be super sweet, super short to the point. Um, once again, my name is Abby Evans and I am the admissions counselor for North Carolina. Um, we do have another representative for South Carolina, but she is not here today, unfortunately. So I am taking both of our places to present to you guys. Um, so as I mentioned, Kennesaw State University is located in, obviously you can see it, Kennesaw, Georgia. Um, we, are in, we are in the metro Atlanta area. So we are only 30 minutes outside the city of Atlanta. So we're not in the city, just right outside of it. Um, we do have two campuses, Kennesaw and Marietta campus. Um, even though we are two campuses, we are still one university. So the difference between our two campuses is that our Kennesaw campus is really home of our liberal arts programs. Um, so nursing, uh, any psychology, sociology, um, art, anything like that's gonna be on our Kennesaw campus. And then our Marietta campus is going to be home of our STEM majors. Um, we were once Southern Polytechnic uh, College, um, and then we merged with Kennesaw State University, but we couldn't pick up all of the computer labs and stuff like that and move it over to our Kennesaw campus. So we just left it there and it is now our Marietta campus. Um, so it is home. Um, we do have a total of 13 colleges uh, at Kennesaw State University and our Marietta campus is home to four of them. 
which is going to be our College of Architecture and Construction Management, uh, College of Computer and Software Engineering, Southern Polytechnical College of Engineering and Engineering Technology, and then our College of Science and Mathematics. So some of our more popular ones, as you can see here, um, is going to be our uh, mechanical engineering and computer engineering. However, those are not the only ones that we do have. We do have 14 engineering majors on our Marietta campus, um, and those can be civil engineering, electrical engineering, uh, mechatronics engineering, and a whole lot more. And there's a cool thing that we can do. Um, so are any of you guys interested in maybe minoring in nuclear engineering, biomedical engineering, and aerospace engineering, um, we do have those options to minor in and get certifications with those programs as well. So really neat. Um, I will be breaking down some of them um, and what uh, that program looks like for you guys. Um, so I want to brag about our engineering school. So we actually are the second largest engineering school in the state of Georgia. Um, the first one is Georgia Tech, but if you want to come over to us, it's more cheaper option than we are your uh, go to. So definitely keep us in mind if you're looking out of state engineering school. We are the second largest for engineering. So please keep us in mind when you are looking at those options. Um, and then when it comes to our engineering school, um, we are highly um, like specialized with our labs. So depending on which one that you are engineer are uh, focusing in, we do have our own specialized labs for each of them. Um, I do know our aerospace engineering um, has its own camp like a propeller of some sort um, and you could actually go in there and test it out. So we do have those labs for you guys to put what you've learned into practice. Um, same thing, we are an R2 uh, research institution. So for any of you guys interested, already have your research prompts um, going into your research data already, four of our research centers are focused in our STEM programs. Um, so any of you guys that are interested, um, cool thing that I want to brag about is that we actually got a five-year gift with SunTrust Bank to support numerous faculty staff research opportunities um, in our College of um, Engineering, so cool thing. They do take on different uh, engineering students to participate in that. So it's a cool thing that we are proud of. Um, and as you can see, our cybersecurity program, um, we are ranked number one in the state of Georgia for our cybersecurity program. It is completely online. So when you're going into your like general education courses, you can take those on campus if you want to. But as soon as you get into your cybersecurity um, classes, they are 100% online. Um, they are more technology focused and security related. So if you guys are interested in going behind the scenes um, and doing something like that, and that is something that you can get involved in with us. Um, job opportunities, um, a lot of our students, um, get uh, their job placements at Home Depot XQ, National Security Agency, uh, the Coca-Cola Company. Cool thing about Kennesaw State University with only being 30 minutes outside the city of Atlanta. Um, Atlanta is the home of our Fortune 500 companies. So lots of job placements, co-op internships for you guys to get involved in. Um, some of our majors are requiring you to do an internship before, before you actually graduate. So the cool thing, if you want to get that experience under your belt and maybe clutch that job opportunity by the time that you graduate, then we have that set in stone for you guys. Um, one of my favorite things that I would like to brag about, um, I didn't major in architecture, but I really love this program here at Kennesaw State, is our architecture program. Um, so architecture here at Kennesaw State University is a five-year degree program. Um, the only reason why it is a five-year as opposed to your traditional four-year is because as soon as you come in as a freshman, you are taking your architecture classes. Unlike uh, like your traditional like business or psychology, you usually don't take your major classes until your sophomore year. But with our architecture classes, you are going straight into the bat as soon as you come in taking those classes. Um, we are accredited by the National Architecture Accrediting Board, and we are the first professional degree in architecture in the state of Georgia. So what do I mean when I say the first professional degree? So super simple. So our students, by the time they graduate with their architecture degree, will actually be eligible for their license by taking the architectural registration exam. Um, cool thing, because we are making sure that you are ready to get into that job field by the time that you graduate, um, there are higher admission standards when it comes to coming in as an architecture uh, major. 
Um, and with everything that's going on, uh, we did little give some little wiggle room there. So before it used to be GPA and test scores, but now we are requiring you, if you are interested in coming in as an architecture major, to have a 3.0 GPA, as opposed to the traditional KSU GPA minimum, which is a 2.5. So just keep that in mind if you're looking into applying to us, you will have to have that higher GPA uh, when it comes to that. Um, with job placement, um, beside, with our architecture program, besides the architectural offices, um, a lot of our students have taken their degrees into graphic design, product design, interior design, film education, and construction. Um, so obviously I don't wanna brag a, a, about all of our programs here. Um, another thing that I did not mention here is our biology program. Um, so our biology program is uh, popular amongst our students. Um, we do have a lot of concentrations that you guys can get involved in. So if any of you guys are interested in pre-medical, pre-vet, anything like that, we do have those concentrations for you to focus in. So instead of taking these random classes that you wanna be using for your degree, we do have a special curriculum for you depending on the concentration that you choose. Um, so yeah, super simple. We do have the freshman admissions for any of you guys interested um, in applying to us at admissions.kennesaw.edu. Um, and then my contact information um, for any of you guys tuning in um, from South or North Carolina, um, that is my contact information below. Um, so we are open Monday through Friday um, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, I am constantly looking at my email for any of you guys um, that do want to come visit us in person. We did start two weeks ago in-person visits. Um, so if you want to come down to Georgia and come see us, uh, feel free to do so. Um, if not, for sell, uh, safety and health concerns, totally okay. We also have a virtual option for you guys to explore our campus as well. Super interactive and it's actually pretty new. We came out with our virtual tour um, sometime in March when all of this started. So definitely it's really cool. Please check it out. Um, and that is it. Like I said, super sweet, super simple. If you feel like you want to ask me a question or anything regarding our programs or Kennesaw State University in general, I am here for you. Um, but in the meantime, I am now going to pass it over to our last representative. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Abby. Uh, my name is Mr. Hawkins. I'm a representative, missions counselor for Fayetteville State University. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Now, you all don't be weirded out. I have two screens that I'm looking at. So if I'm looking left and right, it's because I'm just trying to see what's going on. Uh, so according to the PowerPoint, FSU history founded in 1867 and generally how I describe our history, seven men came together and realized there was a need in the community to educate those within the local districts as well as the surrounding areas. And so they gathered $136, bought a piece of land and was able to expand themselves and expand the university. And we started out as a teaching college and end up having over 33 programs as well as STEM programs that of course we're gonna talk about today. So before we talk about STEM programs, let's watch a quick video. So this is a quick video that introduces the 
biology program, but within our biology program, you have an opportunity to get a concentration in pre-med and pre-dental, pharmacy, vet, and the whole nine. But I wanna highlight two particular programs that we offer uh, within our particular uh, university. Uh, we have what we call the three plus two engineering program. Now, the three plus two engineering program allows the student to have a five year or to pursue a five year curriculum uh, that enables the student to have two undergraduate degrees. Uh, your first three years, you'll be spending with us where you will have an opportunity to get a degree in mathematics and chemistry and computer science. And then you'll spend the remaining two years at North Carolina State University where you'll obtain a degree in chemistry engineering, computer engineering, electrical engineering, or civil engineering. And so, of course, this is an opportunity. Again, I want to reemphasize that this is five years two undergraduate degrees. Uh, also, along with Faithful State, we have what I consider and probably what everyone consider our best program and our nursing program. Now, last year we were ranked the number two program on the eastern border according to nursesjournal.org. I don't know where we're at today, uh, but by far our nursing program has allowed students to pursue um, not only co-ops and internships, uh, but they have 100% placement rate. Uh, in terms of their passing their licensing exam and 2018, 100% of our nursing students passed their NCLEX. So I'm gonna give them a high five here and a hand clap. Now, along with that, I want to take a moment and pause for uh, our women in particular. Now, we know that women in the United States are the most educated demographic in the United States. However, you all are also the most underpaid. And so the objective is to get you all to have the money match your degree or your education. Favor State recognizes this and we have enabled programs. Uh, it's for all people, but we want to make sure that we acknowledge our young ladies, our women. Uh, there are, and it's particularly special for our university because um, they're not only excelling in the STEM programs, but they're ex they are excelling in our sports programs. Four of our sports programs last year have won championships uh, because of the women, whether it's basketball, bowling, uh, cross country, track and field. So they have been doing their thing, if you will, uh, within our university. And so we wanna push them. Our demographics is 60% of our student population is female. So we just wanna make sure that we acknowledge your presence, your power, and wanna push you forward. Um, now that I've talked about the nursing program, I also wanna uh, emphasize our forensic science program. Now, what's particularly special about our forensic science program is that we're the only accredited undergrad program in North Carolina by the FEPAC, F-E-P-A-C. Now, what's special about this accreditation is that out of 46, pro excuse me, out of the whole United States, only 46 programs have been accredited by this accreditation. We're the only one in North Carolina. Now, I'm gonna go back and share my screen and we're gonna see a little bit more about our forensic science program, but I want to introduce a summer program that we offer for STEM majors or those that want to pursue STEM majors. Now, this STEM major is called, or excuse me, this program is called the LEAP program, L-E-A-P. This LEAP program allows students that, again, that are pursuing a STEM major to uh, receive or take two courses completely for free. Uh, we won't charge a FAFSA and we won't charge you, your mama, your daddy, or your dog. <laughs> you are able to take these classes, one English, one math, and of course, during the weekend, you're able to attend social activities and build up your college experience before the fall of your transferring in. So bear with me. Let's go to the uh, let's go to the video and we'll come right back. Mr. Hawkins, you might want to turn on the closed captioning because the students can't hear the audio on your video. Just a heads up.
So that's just a quick introduction of the LEAP program and what we offer. So along with the forensic science, along with the three plus two engineering program, along with the nursing program, we just want to make sure that we place you, the student, to be successful in whatever area that you're in. You'll get the internships, you'll get the co-ops because you're in a field that guarantees that you're going to get the money. The only thing that we're worried and concerned about is that you get the training and that you're prepared. I have nothing else. My time has ran out. Thank you, Blake. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, Abby. Back to you. Um, so that concludes our individual presentations for our individual respective colleges and programs. Uh, but we wanted to open up the floor just for any final questions that the students may have for our individual colleges or questions that may apply to all of us as a whole. And we'll leave that open for just a few moments. All right, well, if that is the case, uh, we can turn it back to our moderator. Hey, everyone. Um, so I'm just gonna close this out super quickly. Just give me one second. Thank you guys so much for attending um, this session with CapCrap. Just give me one second. So after you guys um, exit out of here, you are gonna be prompted with a brief four question survey. So we'd ask that you please go ahead and fill that out for us. Um, so that way we know how this session went for everyone. Um, additionally, if you guys are interested in viewing more sessions, please go to cacro.org because you can see the full final list of the schedule of all the events that are wrapping up. Additionally, if you did want to view this presentation later, or if you have a friend that missed it that wants to tune in, um, the recording will also be available if you go to cacro.org. Um, thank you guys again for tuning in and I hope that you have a great rest of your fall.